All right, well, let's um, get started. I am Jesse Mahoney. I think I know most of you. And we are here once again for mindful weekend yoga on Sunday today at the end of this holiday weekend. And today I wanted to focus on presence and grounding. I'm finding myself kind of spinning in the, um, I don't even know what it is, all the things happening in the world right now, all the people and the family and the sales and the emails and all of the energy out there is feeling very energetic. And so what I wanted to focus on today was coming back into yourself as a um, solution for that to find a little bit more grounding and an intentional, purposeful path forward this week as we head into the week after Thanksgiving and the beginning of December. And so with that, find a comfortable seat on your mat. I highly recommend a block or a bolster, whatever works for you, but to get your hips above your knees and to help those hip flexors release downwards. We carry a lot of tension and energy in the hip flexors. And so when we sit up higher than our knees with our hips above our knees, we can release a little bit of that tension, especially perhaps for those of you who sit a lot in your work. And so as you arrive on your mat, just notice how you feel. Notice perhaps what feels grounded and connected to the earth, perhaps your sit bones or ischial spine. And how does your head feel? And take a moment to draw your attention to your pelvic bowl and tilt it forward slightly and stack your spine, each vertebrae, one on top of the other, aligned all the way up through the torso, through the neck, up through the crown of your head, stacking things in alignment. Alignment is a form of presence. It's also a form of rest and peace. When you stack your head directly on top of the vertebrae, it takes a lot less energy to hold it. When you quiet your mind, it's a form of rest. And so as you sit, if it's comfortable for you, close your eyes. And if you don't wanna close your eyes, Gaze at a spot on the floor, six or eight feet in front of you, loose and light gaze. And draw your attention to your heart space. Take a long, deep inhale in through your nose, right into that pocket behind the heart. And a huge exhale through your mouth, letting things go. And notice how you feel even with one deep breath perhaps a little more centered, a little more grounded, and a little more present. Take in another deep, long inhale through your nose and an exhale through your mouth. And bring a hand to heart, another one atop, and pause here for a moment, connecting skin to skin. Palm of the hand to the heart space, dorsum of the hand to the palm of the hand. Notice all the skin sensations and the physical touch. Lessening the cortisol, lessening the stress, releasing oxytocin. Let it circulate throughout your body here. Notice that it feels good and allow yourself to just draw your attention to it. And if your mind is still spinning, perhaps just focus on your hand, one atop the other, and the palm of the hand pressing into the heart space. Notice how it feels. Draw your attention to the sensations. And once again, take a long, deep inhale through your nose. And an exhale through your mouth. Notice how you feel. Can you feel present right here in this moment? Perhaps just present with yourself on this spot, on the floor, on the ground, on the earth, with nothing to do, nothing to plan, 
no one to connect to right now except for you. Giving yourself some pause and enjoying it. Take three more breaths on your own here, whatever pace feels right to you. Nourishing equal inhale and exhale. Just allow yourself to enjoy the stillness. A moment to be here before we start to move. Notice if you're struggling to be and have just compassion and kindness towards that. Perhaps it's hard to slow down in the midst of all the, the energy in the world right now. But allowing yourself a few moments to pause and be as a gift to you and a gift to the world and everyone else. And slowly lower your hands to your thighs and open your eyes and let the light in. And I wanted to do just a couple moments of a very specific breathing just to help us focus on the breath. And sometimes when there's so much energy out in the world, we need something to focus on. So I brought my kids breathing Hoberman sphere, which I love. And so as we breathe in, you'll breathe into the rhythm of the sphere opening up. And so slowly breathe in. And exhale as it closes. <sighs> Trying to breathe in maximally and fully. Inhale. Filling up your lungs just like the sphere. And exhale, let it go. Three more. Inhale, long, slow, even. Filling all the way to the bottom of the ribs. And exhale, long, slow, even, exhale. Inhale, fill up long, smooth, slow, full. And exhale, let it go. And notice when you have something to focus on beyond the breath, how it changes how you breathe. Just notice how you feel afterwards. Perhaps a little more openness in the chest. And if you wish, you can stay up on your block as we begin to move, or you can um, sit down on the floor, whatever feels right for you. Engage your belly. Take an inhale, raise both arms up towards the sky. Exhale, drop your shoulders. Inhale, reach tall once again. Exhale, right palm grounds into the earth. Ground your left hip, reach your left fingertips all the way over to the right side. Stretch the entire left side body, right elbow bends gently. Inhale into all the nips and crannies of the left waist. And exhale, breathe it out. Inhale. Once again, fully notice your sit bones on the earth as you fill yourself up and exhale, ground downward into the earth. Press into the right hand, reach both arms up towards the sky. Exhale, drop your shoulders. Inhale, reach those fingers tall, tall, tall once again. Exhale, left palm grounds into the earth, right hip grounds into the earth. Reach your right hand towards the left. Stretch the whole right side body. Bend the left elbow. Inhale fully into every nook and cranny of the right side. And exhale, let it go. Stretch a little farther towards the left. Nurse the whole right waist. One more breath here. And exhale, let it go. Press into that left hand. Reach both arms up towards the sky. Exhale, drop your shoulders. 
Inhale, reach those fingertips tall. Twist towards the right, engage belly fully the whole time. Spine is stretched. Drop your right hand behind you, left hand to the left, to the right knee, coming into a twist. Inhale, lengthen your spine, stretch tall, tall, tall. And exhale, ring it out gently towards the right. Inhale, reach the crown of your head tall, neck long towards the sky. And exhale, ring it out gently. Last breath, inhale, reach tall, stretch. And exhale, last out breath here. Engage your belly, reach both arms up towards the sky, twist back to center. Exhale, twist to the left this time. Drop your left hand behind you, right hand to left knee. Inhale, reach tall, lengthen your spine from the tip of your sacrum all the way through the crown of your head, reaching towards the sky. Exhale, twist to the left, ring it out. All that extra churny, unnecessary energy, let it go. Inhale with nourishing breath. And exhale, releasing that twang and distraction and just noise. Inhale, focus, attention, presence. And exhale, bringing out the extra wasted energy. Inhale, both arms up towards the sky. Twist back to center. Exhale your arms out towards the side and down towards the earth. Roll your shoulders back three times and enjoy it. And forward three times. Nourishing all the nooks and crannies of the shoulders. Take out whatever you happen to be sitting on and we'll come into hands and knees. If you have blocks and you want to use them to mix it up, sometimes when you're not as focused, mixing it up can also help you stay focused. You can use the blocks under your hands and hands and knees, or if you don't have blocks, just hands on the earth. So take a moment to get organized here, opening up all 10 fingers wide, 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 equal pie shapes. Press all 10 knuckles into the earth, both palms into the earth. Arms extended fully, elbows straight, shoulders into the shoulder sockets. Notice your knees and your shins and the tops of your feet. Engage your belly, back is straight and even. Extend your right leg long behind you. Drop your right heel to the earth, twist open towards the right, coming into gate pose. Arm reaches towards the sky to start outer edge of the right foot, ground into the floor. Exhale, drop your right arm over your right ear, stretch it long towards the front of the mat. If you wish, you can raise your right leg up about six inches, a little bit below hip height, press the heel into the back wall, coming into a balanced pose. Notice how that feels. If that doesn't work for you, just keep your hand on the earth. Neither is better or worse. Two more breaths here. If you have your leg in the air, draw your attention to your belly button, your center. Notice the wiggles and the wobbles with kindness and compassion. One more breath here. Exhale, lower your right foot. Raise your right arm up towards the sky. Right hand drops into the left hip crease. Roll the right shoulder back. If it works for your neck, gaze upward. Notice what is grounding you into the earth and holding you strong and stable here. One more breath, roll the right shoulder open. Exhale, lower your gaze back towards the floor. Reach the right arm up towards the sky. Come back to tabletop. Take a moment to get organized. Stretch the left leg long behind you. Drop the right heel towards the left heel, sorry, towards the right. Reach your left hand towards the sky, coming into gate pose on this side. Take a moment and notice what's stable and what's not. You can tuck your right foot behind you as a kickstand if you feel unstable. If you wish, exhale the left arm over the left ear, stretch all the way towards the front of the mat through the outer edge of the left foot, through the whole left side body. You should notice a fanning of the ribs here. If you wish, raise the left foot up to hip height, 
Press the heel towards the back wall, coming into a balanced gate pose. Notice any wobbling. As you breathe in, focus on your navel, your solar plexus. Exhale, let it go. Once again, inhale right into the solar plexus. Exhale, let it go. Drop your left foot towards the earth. Raise your left hand towards the sky. Exhale, drop the left hand into the right hip crease. Roll that left shoulder open. Gaze upwards if it works for your neck. Otherwise, you can continue to look straight ahead. Breathe into the front of the left shoulder. Exhale, let it go. One more breath here. Reach the left hand up towards the sky. Come back to hands and knees, tabletop. Once again, stretch the right leg long behind you. Inhale, raise it up just below hip height, about six inches. If you have the blocks, you can use them for your hands. It's also a little bit easier on the wrists. And pause here. Inhale, raise your left hand towards the front, coming into a balanced pose once again. Right heel pressing towards the back, left fingers reaching towards the front. Focus on your navel. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, stretch long. Exhale, reach your elbow to knee underneath you if it works for you. Inhale, stretch long. Heel presses towards the back, fingers press towards the right. Focus on your navel here. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, stretch long, reaching fingers one direction, heel in the other. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, stretch long. Lower your left hand, right knee. Come back to tabletop. Stretch your left leg long behind. Inhale, raise it up to hip height a little bit below. Exhale, focus on your navel. Inhale, raise your right hand towards the front. Fingers reach in one direction, heel reaches in the other. And exhale, let it go. Inhale, stretch long. Exhale, elbow to knee underneath. Inhale, stretch long. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, stretch long. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, stretch long, and exhale, lower everything towards the earth. Knees apart, toes together, sink back into child's pose. Reach those fingers as long in front of you as you can. If you have a block and you wanna use it for the third eye, do so, or you can lower your forehead third eye all the way towards the ground. Connecting to the stability of the earth underneath. And take a moment here to just pause again. Notice your hips sink down towards your heels, inner thighs release, chest reaching towards the earth, heart is light, and forehead or third eye is connected, rooted into the earth beneath you. Wiggle those fingers a little bit farther in front and pause. Taking a moment here to notice all that is good and right and all that doesn't need to be done right now. Nothing to fix, nothing to do. Two more deep breaths here. Slowly transition back up to downward dog or to hands and knees. Walk your hands forward and handprint. Curl your toes and press your hips up into downward dog. Walk the dog, bending one knee and then the other. Enjoying the stretch in the backs of the legs. Light. 
press into your hands, press into your arms, hips reach high, 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 up and back, all the way towards the back of the mat. Lift up high onto your tiptoes and slowly lower your heels towards the earth and enjoy the back of the leg stretch. Breathe in here. And a huge exhale, letting things go. Walk your hands about two hand grips closer to your feet into a more narrow downward dog. You may want to widen your feet a little bit if it works for you. Take your right hand and reach it towards your left ankle. You'll notice a nice stretch in the back of the left leg and the left hip. You can look under that left armpit if you wish. Exhale, let it go. Replace your right hand. Take your left hand and reach towards the right ankle. If it works for you, you can grab it. Head comes under the right armpit. Might be quite awkward. Breathe in. And breathe out all the twanginess right through the right armpit all the way out. One more breath here. And a huge exhale. Replace your left hand. Walk your hands back towards your feet, towards the back of the mat. Come into a forward fold. Knees are soft. Hands come and clasp at your sacrum. Extend your elbows, extend your fists, arms straight. And exhale, allow the fists and intertwined fingers to fall towards the front of the mat. Release the head and neck here. Notice in this position, the soles of your feet on the earth. Lift up all 10 toes, stretch them wide, lower them down. Draw the energy up through the soles of your feet, through the backs of your legs, down the back, up and out through the arms. Breathe in as deeply as you can here in this upside down position. And a huge exhale, letting things go. Let the hands fall gently a little farther forward towards the front of the mat, releasing everything. Bend the left leg, straight the right, and twist a tiny bit towards the right. Look over towards the right and enjoy it. Bend the right knee, straight the left, and look towards the left. Enjoy it. Come back to center. Lower your hands to your sacrum. Allow them to run down the backs of your legs towards your toes. Engage your belly and slowly roll up inch by inch by inch by inch. Head will be the last to rise. Move slow and enjoy it. When you arrive, take a moment to organize yourself. Shrug your shoulders up towards your ears. Pinch them as high as you can. Draw them towards the back of the mat, pinch them together there, and lower down towards the earth, palms open. And just notice as you stand here, the energetic shifts happening. Breathe in with intention, right into that pocket behind your heart. And exhale, letting things go with the breath, out your fingertips, perhaps through the soles of your feet and your toes. Once again, inhale deeply right into the chest and exhale, let it go. We come into tree pose right here. So ground the left foot into the earth, lift up all five toes, lower them down. Kickstand your right foot. Raise your foot to the calf. Bring hands to heart center and pause here. Notice if your balance is stable or not. Take a moment to organize yourself here. Perhaps tuck the right knee back gently a little bit. Notice the left foot on the earth. Do you need to spread your toes wider? Can, do you need to relax into it? What would help? Connect your hands skin to skin. Finger pads each rub against each other. Press the thumbs into the sternum for support. Lengthen your spine, lengthen your neck, reach the crown of your head towards the sky. 
If it works for you, reach your fingertips up towards the sky. This will bring in more energy. So notice if you need more grounding, keep your hands at heart center. If you want more stretching or energy within, reach your hands towards the sky, spread your fingers towards the sky and let the light and energy come in through the outstretched hands, whichever works for you. One more breath with outstretched hands if you have them, otherwise hands to heart. Bring your hands back to hands to heart. Draw your right knee towards the front, lower it down, shake it out, roll your ankles, releasing all the tension there. Maybe even a big kick if you feel extra tension needs to go like you're flicking water through your feet. Hands can stay at heart center. Lift up all five toes on the right foot, lower them down like monkey toes, kick stand to your left foot. Raise the left sole of your foot to the calf, not over the knee joint. Tuck the left knee back gently. Notice your balance here. If you wish, raise your hands, arms, branches, fingers up towards the sky to draw in more energy. If you want more quiet, solid, grounded energy, palms together at the sternum, press the thumbs into your chest. Notice what your body craves and wants here. And wherever you are, pause and take three breaths. Bring your hands back to heart center. If they're stretched out, draw the left knee in front, lower it towards the earth and shake everything out. Once again, flick those feet if you need to, roll the ankles. Whatever works for you. Notice the pockets of tension still remaining. From here, we're gonna step our feet out wide. So come to face the side of your mat and the outer edges of your feet are parallel to the front and back of the mat in a wide angle pose. Hands, if you spread them out, your wrists would be above your feet. So make sure you're in a wide stance. Turn the left toes towards the front of the mat. Your hips will shift. Right hips come back. Left fingers reach far, far, far forward and drop the left hand towards the left ankle. Come into Trikonasana or Triangle Pose directly here. Right hand reaches towards the sky, right shoulder tucked back and heart is open, reaching upward. If it works for your neck, look up towards your right hand. If not, look down. If you wish to use a block, you can place it on the inside of your left foot. Notice what your body wants and what is more grounding and settled for you. Roll that right shoulder open. Reach the right fingertips towards the sky. Exhale, right fingertips tuck into the left hip crease, rolling that right shoulder open even more. Notice your heart tilt here. More space in the chest, breathe in and breathe out. One more breath here. Reach your right hand up towards the sky. Engage your right side belly, rise upright. Bend the left knee, come into warrior two. Here, notice the outer edge of the back foot ground into the earth. Left knee is bent, does not extend beyond the left ankle. Gaze or drishtis over your left middle finger towards the front of the mat. Inhale, lengthen your spine towards the skies. Perpendicular, crown of the head reaches tall. Arms extend at shoulder height. Make sure they're not wonky, one tipping down in the back. Exhale, sink into the hips. It's a strong, grounded, calm pose. Can you pause here in stillness? Inhale and exhale, sink in a little bit. One more breath here in strong warrior two. Bend your left elbow, rest your left forearm lightly on the left thigh, reach your right arm over the right ear towards the front of the mat. Come into an easy side angle. 
If you want to use the block, once again, in front of your left foot, stretch the whole right side body here in side angle pose. Whatever position works better for you here. Ground the outer edge of the right foot into the earth, the whole right side body stretching, stretching, stretching long. Breathe into it. Allowing your attention to just be in your body here. One more breath. You might notice the left hip, the right ankle making noise. Rise back up to warrior two. Bring your hands to your hips. If you have the block, just place it out in front of you. Straight the left knee and bend it. Once again, straight the left knee and bend. Inhale, straight. And exhale, bend. Straight that left knee, turn the left foot to be parallel to the front edge of the mat. Turn towards the right. Right foot extends towards the back of the mat. Reach your arms out in either direction at shoulder height. Left hip reaches towards the back of the mat. Right fingers reach all the way towards the front. Grab the block if you wish. Bring it to the inside of the right foot. Come into Trikonasana or Triangle Pose here. And take a few moments here to get organized. Left hand reaches towards the sky. Right hand is reaching towards the block or the ankle or the shin or the floor. Roll the left shoulder open. Gaze can be up towards the left fingers or towards the floor, whatever works for you. And notice your legs, they should both be straight. Back foot is slightly pigeon toed, right foot jet lines towards the front of the mat. One more breath here. Bring your left hand into the right hip crease. Roll the left shoulder open towards the sky. And if it works for your neck, look upward. Breathe into that pocket around the heart that pops open here, filling it with nourishing air. And exhale, let it go. Once again, inhale. And exhale. Reach the left hand towards the sky. Engage the left side body, rise upright. Bend the right knee, come directly into warrior two here. Right knee should not extend beyond the right ankle. Arms are shoulder height once again. Outer edge of the left foot grounds into the earth. Inhale, lengthen your torso towards the sky, crown of the head reaches towards the sky. Exhale, bend the right knee. Gazes over the right middle finger. Focused and strong. Pause here. Take a few breaths in this strong, calm position. Some stillness here. Bend your right elbow. Place your right forearm lightly on the right thigh. Reach your left arm over the left ear, extend the whole left side body, stretch long in either direction. Reach tall and long in either direction. Side angle pose. You can also use the block in front of the right foot, whatever works for your shoulders, your hips. Notice if something doesn't feel right and adjust or accommodate or stay in warrior two if you need. Two more breaths here in side angle pose. You may notice things shaking, unhappy. Come out if it's uncomfortable. Inhale, rise back up to warrior two. Hands come to your waist. Inhale, straight the right knee. Exhale, bend. Inhale, straight the right knee. Exhale, bend. Inhale, straight, and exhale, bend. Straight that right knee once again. 
Turn the right foot towards the side edge of the mat, both feet parallel to the side edge. Hands are at the waist, elbows back towards the back of the mat. Puff your chest out here. And exhale, release, elbows once again, pinch towards one another. One more breath here. And exhale, let it go. Heel toe your feet together. Come to stand and shake things out. Notice how things feel. We're going to do dancer pose now. Another balance pose, a little bit more challenging. If you need, you can come up and use the wall for support. <clears throat> Ground your left foot into the earth. Lift up all five toes, lower them down. Bend your left knee, right knee, pardon me. Raise it up to hip height. Right hand runs along the top of the thigh, down the front, over the knee, down the shin. Grab the ankle and tuck your heel back towards your buttock. And find your balance here. Don't rush into the pose. Hips should be even. You can bring your right hand to the top of your right foot. Some of you will be able to draw it around so that the palm touches the inside, medial edge of this arch. Others of you won't have access to that. Either is fine. Take an inhale here, filling your chest with air. Stretch the right thigh. Press the heel in towards the buttock. Enjoy the stretch. If you wish, raise your left hand towards the sky. Tall and straight towards the sky here. Hips are even. Pause here. No rush to the next part of the pose. For those of you who wish, you can tip forward. Left hand reaches towards the front. Right foot reaches into the right hand, coming into dancer pose. Notice if that works for you or doesn't. You can also stay upright. You can keep your left hand at your left hip, whatever works for you. One more breath wherever you are. Come back upright if you're stretched forward. Lower your left hand, release your foot, and just shake it out. Notice any tension in the calves. Releasing fully, nourishing with ankle circles. And pause, standing. Ground your right foot into the earth. Lift up all five toes, lower them down. Raise the left knee to hip height. Run your left hand over the thigh, over the front of the knee, down the shin. Tuck the heel, the foot in towards your buttock, grabbing the ankle. Come to stand upright, even hips. Press the heel towards your buttock here. Right hand is at the right thigh. And pause. A couple breaths here. Let it go. Another deep inhale here. And let it go. Raise your right hand towards the sky if that works for you. Reestablish your balance. Noticing if you need to use your toes, soles of your feet more to grip. If you wish, tip forward with the right hand forward, left foot presses into the left hand. A beautiful nourishing stretch in the front of the left thigh. Your right hip and glute may be more engaged. Your right calf might be calling. Draw your attention to it. Make sure nothing hurts. Be kind. One more breath here. Inhale, come back upright and pause. Lower your right hand to your right thigh, hip area. Release your left foot and shake it out. Roll your ankles. Nourishing rolls. And we'll come to a seat. If you have a blanket and you wanna sit up on the blanket, if your hamstrings are tight, feel free to do that. Either way, move the flesh of your seat out of the way here as you sit. Knees gently bent, pelvic bowl tilted forward, spine stacked with intention, one atop the other, all the way up through your neck, through the crown of your head. Engage your belly, reach both arms up towards the sky. 
Exhale, fold forward over your toes, coming into an easy forward fold. And just notice how you feel here as you release the head and neck towards your legs. You can press your knees towards the floor if that feels right. Notice if anything is shaking and just breathe into it. Exhale, let it go. Close your eyes if you can here in this forward fold. Noticing how you feel. You feel a bit more present in your body. A bit more solid in your energy. Gently walk your hands up your shins towards your knees to your thighs. Bring the soles of your feet together. Come into butterfly pose. Draw your heels towards your groin, wherever is comfortable for you, and rock side to side. Have a little bit of fun with it. Hands are on your ankles. Compress you your knees towards the floor to wherever feels comfortable for you. Inhale, roll your pelvic bowl forward, stack your spine once again, lengthen your neck, reach the crown of your head towards the sky, and exhale, let it go. Once again, inhale here, right into the inner thighs and the pelvis area. Stand tall, 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 and exhale, stretch your knees a tiny bit farther towards the floor, and just notice how it feels. One more breath. Exhale, let it go. Release your hands from your ankles. Stretch your legs out wide, coming into a wide angle pose. Once again, wiggle your sit bones so your ischial spines are grounded downwards. If you need to move the flesh of your seat out of the way, do that. Tilt your pelvic bowl forward. Take a look at your feet. Are your toes in line with your knees? Legs should be straight. So if they need to be closer together, that's fine. Or wider is also fine. Hands come behind you. Tense them right behind your hips. Extend your elbows. Press your fingers into the earth. Sit up tall. Press your chest forward. Ankles are flexed. Toes are flexed. Legs are extended long. Breathe right into your belly here. And exhale, ground your sit bones downward. Legs are fully engaged. Once again, inhale. Shoulders down and back, chest puffed out. Exhale, release. Release your hands. Press your fists into the floor. Pick up your hips and just move them forward a smidge more if that works for you. Notice how it feels. Bring your hands in front of you towards the middle of your uh, triangle and walk them forward a couple inches. Back is flat now. Legs still extended long. Your knees may be bent or straight. Ankles flex, toes in line with your knees. Notice the release and the energy in the back of both legs and enjoy it. Hands rest lightly on the earth. Spread your toes wide and relax them. Once again, toes spread wide. Notice all the energy coming through the feet, through the backs of the legs and release. Walk your hands back towards your groin. Sit up tall. Engage your belly. Reach both arms up towards the sky. Exhale, twist towards the right, right around your central core. Drop your right hand behind you. Left hand comes to the right knee. Inhale, lengthen your spine towards the sky. Exhale, ring it out. Inhale, reach towards the sky. Twist your spine lengthener. So imagine strengthen, lengthening your spine towards the sky as you breathe in. And exhale, ring it out gently. One more breath here. Notice if you can turn a little bit farther each time. Inhale, lengthen tall, engaging from the ischial spines all the way through the crown of your head. Exhale, ring it out. Inhale, both arms up towards the sky. Exhale, twist back to center. Inhale, reach both hands towards the sky. Once again, lengthen from your ischial spines through both side bodies, through your fingers towards the sky. 
Exhale, twist around your central core, drop your left hand behind you, right hand comes to the left knee, left thigh, whatever works for you. Inhale, lengthen your spine once again. Use your fingers tented behind you for support. Exhale, ring it out. Once again, inhale, lengthen, tall, tall, tall. And exhale, ring it out. Use your core muscles for strength here. Inhale, reach tall. And exhale, ring it out a smidge more. Inhale, raise both arms up towards the sky. Turn back to center and exhale, lower your arms to the outer edges of your thighs. Stretch them long in front. Bang your knees towards the floor, just releasing all the tension. Point your toes towards the front of the mat and flex them. Once again, point them towards the front of the mat. Stretch the shins as far as you can and exhale. Flex and relax. Bend your knees gently. Arms are parallel to your legs extended. Engage your belly once again and roll down inch by inch with intention. Land on the floor slowly and with purpose. Lower your hands by your sides. Pops down for a moment. And just notice how you feel as you arrive here. Notice the ground, the earth underneath you. Notice how it is stable, solid. Notice what parts of your body are connected to the earth. Borrow its strength and stability. Bend your knees, walk your heels towards your buttock. Press into your hands, press into your feet and reach your hips high, high, high towards the sky, coming into a bridge pose. Shimmy those shoulders underneath you. You can take your hands, grab the outer edge of your mat and tug it towards your heels to lift the hips higher. Breathe in, lift high. Exhale, stay up. Breathe in once again, lift your hips high, high, high. Engage the whole back body. Knees energetically connect, buttocks fully engaged here. Tug the mat towards your heels. Once again, inhale, shimmy those shoulders under you a tiny bit more, lift even higher if it works for you. Exhale, untuck your shoulders, lower down slowly. Vertebrae by vertebrae, transition slowly. And when you arrive, just pause a moment. No need to fix anything and just notice how you feel. We're gonna do one more bridge here. If you have a block and you wanna do a restorative bridge, it would feel amazing. And otherwise we'll do another active bridge. So if you have a block, you can take it on the medium setting, lift your hips up, and slide it right under your sacrum, under the triangular bone at the base of your spine. If you don't have a block, then just rest there. It will help open your hip flexors and ground you and help quiet the mind. For those of you that don't have a block, press into your hands, press into your feet, reach your hips up once again, shimmy the shoulders under you just slightly. Take your hands, grab the outer edges of your mat and tug them toward, tug the mat towards your heels. And pause here. In either position, breathe into that pocket behind your heart. Your heart is hanging light here. Lots of room to fill and expand in diastole. Inhale and exhale. If you're in an active bridge, reach your hips up one more time, knees connecting towards one another. And exhale, slowly lower down. If you're on the block for a restorative bridge, hang out there for another moment. For those of you not on the block, draw your knees into your chest. Give yourself a hug, rock side to side, massage the sacrum. Notice the release 
in the buttocks. If you are still in the restorative bridge, gently slide the block out from underneath you and lower down. And draw your knees into your chest. Meet us here. Bring your feet into your hands. Come into a happy baby. Soles of the feet reach towards the sky. Knees press towards the earth. Be engaged here. Flex your ankles. Soles of the feet reach towards the sky. Stretch all your toes wide once again. Use your fingers to press those soles of the feet down towards the earth a little bit. Knees open out wide. You'll notice a beautiful stretch in the inner thighs. And rock and massage your sacrum here. Enjoy it. Bring the soles of your feet together. Press your heels in towards, towards your groin. Open the inner thighs here and enjoy it. Release your hands from the outer edges of your feet. Lower your feet towards the earth. Come into Supta Baddha Konasana or reclining butterfly pose. Knees will be out towards the sides of the mat. If you have blocks, you can put them under your knees for support. It's very nourishing. If not, no worries. We'll stay shorter. Left hand to heart, right hand to belly. Check in with yourself here. Notice how you feel. A huge inhale into your chest. And an exhale, letting things go. Another deep, nourishing inhale. And an exhale. Take a moment to notice the soles of your feet connect. Rub your toes together. Notice your sacrum resting on the earth. Notice your right hand over your belly button solar plexus underneath, left hand to heart. Can you feel your heart beat under your hand? And draw your attention to your forehead or your third eye. Notice if it feels much more quiet and enjoy it for a few moments. Inhale and exhale. Bring your hands to your outer thighs and draw your knees together. Soles of the feet rest on the earth. Raise your right foot. Bring your right ankle to your left knee. I'm going to come into figure four pose. Thread your hands around your left thigh and draw it in towards you. Both feet should be flexed. Raise your, your left foot will be off the earth, left shin parallel to the ceiling if you're inside on the floor. Right elbow can press into the right knee for a little bit more of a stretch if you wish. Keep both ankles flexed to protect your knees here. If you wish, you can bring your hands to your left shin to intensify the stretch. Notice that feels good. Breathe in and breathe out. Two more breaths here in whatever position feels right to open the right hip and right thigh. And notice as you're here, the back of your occiput upon the earth, your sacrum also resting on the earth. Release your hands from behind your thigh. Lower your left sole of the foot towards the earth. Raise your arms above you in an easy cactus shape if that works for your shoulders. If it doesn't, you can have your arms out to a T. Drop your right sole of the foot towards the left floor, coming into a twist, figure four twist. You'll pick up your left foot and left rest your left knee, left thigh on the earth. An easy figure four twist. 
Notice how it feels. If it works and you wish to gaze to the right to intensify the stretch, feel free. If the cross knees don't work, you can uncross your knees and stack them lightly one atop the other. You should notice a lovely stretch in the hip area. Two more breaths here. Gently bring your gaze back to center. Bring your knees back to center. Untuck your hips if they need reorganizing. Bring your hands back by your sides. Uncross your right leg from the left. Even out your hips. Pick up your left ankle foot. Place it on the right knee. Thread your hands around the right thigh, hug it in towards you. Come into a figure four stretch here. Notice the beautiful release in the outer left hip. Both ankles are flexed to protect the knees. Press your left elbow into your left knee if you want more of a stretch. Notice you may or may not need more of a stretch on this side. If you wish to bring your hands to the front of the right shin that will also add to the stretch. Neither is better or worse. In fact, some of you may wish to keep your right foot on the floor and it's enough of a stretch just to place the left ankle upon the right knee. Neither is better or worse. Do what works for you. Two more rests here. Keep your ankles flat to protect your knees. Use the breath to nourish and bathe that left thigh, left hip area. Notice your occiput and your sacrum on the earth. Release your right, your hands from behind the right thigh. Lower the right sole of the foot towards the earth. Raise your arms above you in an easy cactus shape if your shoulders are okay with that. If not, a T. Exhale, lower the left sole of the foot to the right side. Come into an easy twist. The left, sorry, the right sole of the foot will pick up and face towards the right, right outer edge of the thigh and right knee rest on the floor. You'll have a lovely stretch in the left waist area. If you wish, turn your gaze towards the left. Moment of pause here. A pause to be present and be. Gently turn your gaze back to center. Bring your knees back to center. Organize your hips, even them out. Uncross your legs. Extend your legs long in front. Take an inhale and stretch your arms long in front of your toes, long in front. Well, stretch long, long, long through every nook and cranny of the side body, through your armpits, out through your top fingers. And exhale, release. Lower your arms down along your sides. Allow your toes to fall towards the outer edge of the mat. And just notice how you feel. Coming into Shavasana, our final resting pose. Another pause here to rest on the ground. Allow the earth to hold you here. Flip your palms over to face the earth. 
for more connection, more ground, more clarity, security. Allow your breath to breathe itself. Allow everything to slow down. A few moments to be. Gently begin to deepen your breath. Slowly start to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Take a deep inhale. Once again, stretch your arms and your fingers long above you and your toes and legs long in front of you, filling yourself up with nourishing air and a huge exhale, letting everything go. Draw your knees into your chest and roll over to one side. Pause in a fetal position. Use your arm as a pillow and rest. Notice yourself on the earth. Notice the stillness and calm and quiet here. What of this would you like to bring with you out into the rest of the world today and the week ahead? Press into your hands and slowly come up to a seat where we began. If your block, blanket, bolster are accessible, sit on top and allow those hip flexors once again to release. Sit bones to ground into the block or bolster or earth underneath you. Tilt your pelvic bowl and align your spine, one vertebrae atop the other, all the way up through your neck, reaching the crown of your head towards the sky. And drop your shoulders. Bring a hand to heart, another hand to top. A check in with yourself, giving yourself the gift of touch the gift of kindness, the gift of presence and groundedness, a bit of stillness. Bring your hands to heart center. Once again, notice skin to skin. Connect your thumbs into your sternum. Close your eyes if it works for you. 
and take a moment to connect to your intention for the week ahead. What would you like to have more of? Take in a huge inhale and an exhale. Thank you all so much for practicing with me today. May you all have a beautiful week of presence, calm, and stillness. Namaste.